What is up guys, Tech James here. You guys might know that if you're running an FTP server using VitaShell, if you try to close out of the app while the FTP server is running, it won't actually let you. Let me show you guys what happens right now. So as you can see, I've pressed select, I'm running my FTP server, and if I just press X to OK to keep it running in the background, if I press the home button, it's gonna give me an error. Even if I tap it twice, and that sometimes gets you out, it's gonna give me an error as well. So what you have to do is press select again, and then press circle, for cancel and then you can finally close out a Vita shell. Well there is actually a new homebrew app I think that just got released maybe about 20 hours ago that lets you run an FTP server while exited out of the app so that pretty much means you can open apps you can open games while you're copying across files with your FTP server so I thought this would be quite interesting to check out you guys can follow along if you guys want to get it as well and what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Vita shell we're going to go ahead and start this up and we are going to install it. Now I'm just going Going to switch it to USB connection quickly just because I want to you know plug in my USB and then we'll try FTP in a minute so I'm gonna do switch it to USB press select I'm gonna go and connect this to my computer and let's go and get the VPK so here is the official GitHub for BGFTP. This is the VPK file, and basically what this Homebrew app lets you do is kind of transfer files across with FTP while you're doing other stuff. So you could be playing a game or kind of like playing with some kind of Homebrew app. So if you guys would like to get this, it's brand new, only released 22 hours ago. You want to scroll down and just click on the BGFTP.VPK, and then we're just going to wait for this to download. Now you also need an FTP kind of connection software for your computer, just so you can connect to PS Vita to this app and you can basically use that for installing files. So my favorite one is called FileZilla. If you guys want to copy me and get this, there will be a link to it in the description of this video. And all you want to do is just go to the download section and you guys can download FileZilla for your Windows 64-bit computer. It also works on other platforms like Linux and Mac as well. So yeah, make sure to go and grab a copy of FileZilla if you don't already have it installed. So in my downloads folder, what I'm going to do is get the BGFTP plugin or Homebrew app. And what we're going to do is drag and drop that to the root of my PS Vita. Now we also want to make sure that FileZilla is running. We're not going to set it up just yet because I need to install this first but as you can see I've downloaded it and I've got it open and I've just selected this file in my downloads folder and it's very easy to use. If you guys haven't used this before I'll be showing you how to use it anyway but what we're going to do is we're going to go onto our PS Vita, let's install this VPK and then we can see if it actually works. Okay guys, so we are back. Let's go and install our VPK file. So it will be on our UXO or wherever you put it. And it's called bgftp.vpk. Only 75 megabytes. Let's press X a couple of times and go and install it. And as you can see, it should install pretty fast. And once it's finished installing, and we will actually be able to test this out and basically see does it work because I haven't tested this. Sometimes I test apps before I make the videos. In this case, I haven't actually had the chance to test it. But here it is. Let's see what happens. So I'm just going to go ahead and start this up right now. So let's read what it has to say. Press X button to start BGFTP process. Um, FTP will be active until you peel off the live area screen. Okay, so if you close it down by peeling it off, then it will stop. Uh, a way to get around that is launch other apps. I did like this memory plugin a few weeks ago. Uh, to disable notifications, go to settings notifications. That's okay, so let's press X. Okay, so it should start running says has started and there you go it gives us our IP and our port um, now if you close out so if you guys didn't get the message to see it what you can actually do is tap on the icon and let's go and try it let's copy something across uh, while browsing the PS Vita so let's just close that down for a second yeah let's try and connect to it now let's try and copy something and we can basically see if it works so now you just have to note down your host. So mine was 192.168.1.71. It should always be 192.168 and then something else. The port will always be 1337. So now all we have to do is click on the quick connect and is it going to work? Click on OK and there you go. It did work. That is very impressive. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to refresh my downloads folder and I actually got a Rubik's Cube homebrew. So while this is taking its time to copy across, we're basically going to browse my PS Vita and we can just try some random stuff, I guess. And then we can basically come back in a couple of minutes and we can see if it's installed. So let's go and put this on my UXO and I'll quickly run over to my PS Vita 
and we can try and like you know browse through some stuff while it's copying across okay guys so i'm back and it should be copying it across right now so there might be a few things we can open while it's running and um, it will tell us that we can't open it if we get an error so as you can see settings works perfectly fine so small homebrew game should work i think if i was to launch a game maybe this homebrew game it might tell me i have to close another app I oh, know it does work so small homebrew games like this are absolutely perfect to play i think with games like minecraft it might ask you to close other apps but i did do a video showing you guys how to fix that very recently so games like this should be perfectly fine i don't know if it comes up telling you um once your app is installed it might have some kind of notification in the corner i don't know i haven't actually tested this out yet maybe we can just play a bit of this Oh, so this is a Christmas game. I uh, shouldn't play a Christmas game in February. Um, but let me show you what happens if you were to try and launch Minecraft. I think it's going to say you have to close other apps. Although I'm not too sure. Or maybe I still have the memory plugin installed. To be honest, I might still have it installed. I can't remember. Oh, so Minecraft does work perfectly fine. Maybe I've still got the, um, the plugin installed. If you guys would like to get a memory plugin where you can run multiple apps at the same time, uh, make sure to go and watch the video on my channel. So it doesn't look like it gave me any kind of notification to say the app was installed, but I guess we can test it out right now. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to close them down. Closing them down will actually stop the current FTP server. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start up VitaShell. Obviously, you still need VitaShell uh, because it's basically just one of the best PS Vita apps and it's going to basically where you're going to copy your ROMs to. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to find this one. Yeah, it was VCube. If you guys want to get it, um, a homebrew app which um, basically lets you use a Rubik's Cube on your PS Vita. Pretty cool. I used to love Rubik's Cubes. Let's go and install this app. Hopefully it doesn't give me any kind of errors. Um, sometimes with FTP I do get errors because the connection drops out for me uh, but this one looks like it's installing okay so once it's installed I guess we can load it up and then we can see if it works okay so now it's finished installing let's just go ahead and close out the VG shell did it install it successfully and yeah there you go V cube it should work if I just load it up I mean we might as well just test it only take a couple of seconds and here you go we've got our Rubik's Cube app running and Oh, that's actually pretty cool. So yeah, that is how you um, basically transfer across your apps with the new BGFTP software. I actually quite like this software. It's very good. Vita Shell kind of renders your PS Vita useless when you're transferring across stuff, but this still lets you browse settings, browse apps. You can even play games um, if you've got the memory plugin. And yeah, that's actually really cool. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next tutorial.